trombonist and composer, originally from Los Angeles, California, now residing in Brooklyn, New York. My earliest memory of composing was in high school. I went to the Los Angeles County High School for the Arts, in which I studied with Walter Smith III. He's a really great saxophonist and composer, and he would have me bring in a melody or progression that I was working on, and we would kind of go from there. It was a very collaborative process, uh, which still has impacted the way that I compose and work with people today. The earliest song that I remember completing during that time was titled Surrendered Sunsets, which is a really hilarious name, thinking back now. Um, after that, I composed maybe one or two more songs that we would perform um, at the Monterey Jazz Festival and competition, uh, as well as the Blue Whale and Catalina Jazz Bar and Grill uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, one of the songs that we performed regularly was titled For Lewis, um, which is the last name of my one of my best friends, Mia Lewis. Um, I still have the sheet music for it, and I recently found it, but I don't have a recording of it otherwise. I would maybe share that with you. I'm not sure if I would feel comfortable sharing it, but I was very proud of it at the time. So fast forward to college years. I wasn't composing much in the first few years because I was mainly focusing on the curriculum at uh, the Juilliard School, which is where I attended for jazz performance. Um, but around my junior year, I formed one of my first ensembles, and that was a sextet. And that included myself on trombone, Emmanuel Wilkins on saxophone, who I went to Juilliard with and still work with a lot today, Adam O'Farrell, really great trumpet player, Theo Valentini, who plays piano, Nick Dunstan on bass, and Connor Parks on drums. Uh, we were allowed to use the studio at Juilliard for maybe two to three hours. Um, and so I worked on two pieces, one called In Bloom and the other called Lost in the Oaks. In Bloom, which is also the title of my first album, was one of the, you know, the first memories of really developing a sound as a composer. Um, I sat down at the guitar one day and just started playing around with this ostinato line. And then once I settled on something, I sang a melody over that line. And that became the basis of this song that you'll hear.
that video that you just saw was recorded in 2017, early 2017. And then I graduated from Juilliard in May of that year. I got a small grant from the school to go on tour. And so I took a smaller band, which was comprised of just four people. Myself, Theo on piano, Nick on bass, and Connor on drums. Um, and we went down south to New Orleans. I booked five shows, and that was the first time leading my own quartet and playing shows outside of New York City. In Bloom was recorded shortly thereafter, um, and that featured the same personnel as well as Lee Medvin on guitar. At that point, I was mainly performing with my quartet and in other groups as well. And so up until this point, I've been mainly composing for my quartet. In 2019, which was when In Bloom was finally released, I got into a bike accident. And I got into a bike accident the week of the album release show. So the album was supposed to be released. It, well, it was released in May. Um, but I, I got in an accident that Monday right before the release show happened. And I couldn't play for months. Um, I was bedridden and I had about eight stitches in my face, including one in my upper lip. Um, so that certainly got in the way of performances and, and playing my horn, so I spent that time composing. Uh, one of the songs that came from that recovery period is titled Lift. And here you'll see a video of us performing it at the album release show that happened months later.
2018, I also decided to develop a solo project using trombone and effects. I had seen many guitarists and other porn players using effects before, but never a trombonist. Since I've developed that project, it's seeped into other ensembles of mine. I wrote a song titled More of the Good Stuff Later, which was inspired by a conversation that I had with my grandfather uh, shortly before his passing, in which at the end of the conversation he said, more of the good stuff later. The conversation was particularly impactful for me because we didn't have the easiest time communicating at the end of his life due to his dementia and Alzheimer's. At the beginning of this piece, in a performance setting, I like to bring my effects and create a solo landscape before the rest of the band comes in. You'll see more of the good stuff later here, performed at the Jazz Gallery.
forward to 2020 when the pandemic hit. We were all at home and I didn't have much work at the time. Um, but the first ensemble to commission me to write something for them was the Tesla Quartet, which is a really incredible string quartet from New York. They were working on a commissioning project titled Alternating Currents. Each composer was asked to create a piece about two to three minutes long, inspired by this work of Beethoven's, specifically the string quartet in A major, opus 18, number five. This was the first time I had been commissioned by anyone, and so I was really nervous, especially because I hadn't written for strings before, but I delved right in and I took the challenge. The variation that I came up with was titled Variation Meditation. The second commission I received in 2020 was from the Westerlies, which is a really great brass quartet located here in New York. I had been following their music and career for years since I had gone to school with a few of them at Juilliard. I decided to write a work inspired by my grandfather, his life, as well as the islands of Hawaii, specifically Kauai. Call me, calling me back home is a reference to a song titled Heli on Kauai. The piece was premiered at Westerlies Fest 2021, which was obviously virtual. Uh, and so each member of the Westerlies recorded their own parts from their own homes. And this is the result. <laughs> Thank you. 
favorite work that was commissioned by Hats and Heels Duo was titled Mono Willy. Hats and Heels Duo is a quirky duo of, comprised of bassoon and harp, so it was a challenge to get started on this because I had to learn how to write for harp specifically, um, but we were also asked to incorporate another element. I chose to incorporate dance, and I commissioned my friend Xenia Mansour to choreograph a work to go along with the music. This was the video that came from it, and I shot it in an empty apartment before I moved all my furniture in. Thank you. 